Okay, welcome back everyone to episode 22, Rise of the Heroes. Let's hear from our players what happened last session. Yeah. Alright. So, we woke up from our night out pretty early in the morning beside the sunflower patch so we could go catch our culprits. Which we uh, went inside and found out, I accurately determined that it was indeed a Pokemon and not a ghost. Yep. Oddly enough, it was a Pokemon plant Pokemon. Looked exactly like a sunflower. Sunflora, yes. I believe it was named. I think so. Well, they seemed pretty aggressive, and we had to uh, fight them out. <clears throat> yep, we had to fight them. Because they wouldn't budge that going up wouldn't, wouldn't be leaving the area for a different place. I never knew flowers could be so mischievous. And me to other plants. Or, yeah, plants. <clears throat> So we spent most of the morning battling them. And well, after we did that, we decided uh, we couldn't figure out a place for them to go. So um, we brought them to Brandon to see if he would take them in. Me, However, Ben and Winter um, went on a goose chase for miles. Yeah, yeah. You guys miles are too slow. You could have at least called us and told us you were there with Brandon already. Well, I didn't know where you guys were at. I thought you guys were busy with something else. So I just decided to meet you guys there. And then Brandon was there, and then everything was moving so fastly. We told you what we were doing. We were grabbing the others, and then you went and left without us. <sighs> well, anyway, we eventually caught up to him and uh, noticed that Brandon was already there with him and we rushed all the sun floor to him we healed him up and or I suppose Nurse Joy healed him up and Brandon uh, was kind enough to take them in and thus our GM challenge is complete And then we talk to Khan. I'm, I'm not going to say the name because I keep mixing it up. <laughs> Cameron. Hey, there we go. I had a feeling you were going to say it again. <laughs> I got it. Funny. Cameron. We talked to Cameron for a bit and ate breakfast with our Pokemon. And, well, we decided to do a little bit of training after. Yeah, we're we? going to do the battle. Did we? Yeah. Did we? Yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah, training. I thought, yeah. We the, I thought we just went to Cameron's house. I don't know. No, yes. we went to Cameron's mm -hmm. house eight. Yeah. And then after yeah. that, we were about to go to the gym battle. Yeah, we didn't do any training. And, well. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we didn't do any training. Uh, I think I I you guys planning. were plan <laughs> might be planning to. Sorry, be my, uh, me, my head's all uh, disarrayed. I'm very uh, scared of this next fight. <clears throat> Isn't it the next day? No, it's the morning. It's the morning of the, yeah, of the stakeout. No, the dawn of the hour. <clears throat> Wait, is it still morning? Did that all happen in the morning? Yeah, it's, it's currently yeah. in the morning now. It was a very long morning. Because you guys woke up very early. <laughs> very it, long you guys woke up at dawn. <laughs> I mean, it's it almost the like, afternoon uh, now, so... I'm ready. I'm Look, ready to take on the Yeah, let's take the gym. 
All right. <sighs> we don't need no battle don't until have... if we lose, then okay. we need a battle. Train. So you guys <clears throat> has have just exited Cameron's house, and now you guys are. You you have time to prepare for the gym if you want to. No, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. Prepared. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Mentally, I don't know if guys is ready. Three ver three votes to uh, I'm ready. Are you ready, Finn? Um, we go get our honey first. Oh yeah, we could get the Did we ever talk to that one guy who told us about the sunflower sunflowers? No, we need to do that too. Oh yeah, I suppose we should do that. Oh am I remembering all of this? <laughs> uh, that's a good no. question. Well first uh, since we're close to the honey, let's go get it. Okay. Best be and then we'll go talk to the guy and then we'll do the gym. Honey. I think Cody has noticed the grass yet. No, I doubt it. Hopefully not. My dad will grow back in time before she does. Before she notices. Yeah, maybe Shaman could come by and revive them. Uh, hey, look, they're already hard at work. And the kids just greet you guys. Good morning. <laughs> for... Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And they one of one of the girls told you that they've been helping Beth <clears throat> and gather some honey, and they have the jars ready for you. Sweet. Ooh. We got some big jars for the four of you. Collected all, of, you. all of it this morning. Mm, <laughs> I like to try some. You, you just see them both trying to carry them. <laughs> they're they're like a little taller than them, but not as Ooh. tall as your your guys' height. And they will <laughs> they put it on the ground. That's okay, you don't have to carry all at once. It's okay, we got I'm it. And then she... Yeah. They both set it on the ground for you four. Yeah. Best Big Clan worked so hard this morning to make all this honey for you four that she promised you. Mm -hmm. She did a good job. Mm, looks great. So these jars are bigger than the regular jars that you see at the at the at a market so it will last you for a couple of days cool they're very re nutritious to kids and pokemon too so be sure to share them with your pokemon oh, don't worry i'll share with some of my pokemon Thank you, child. <clears throat> How much money was this? Like one big jar. One big jar each? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. We'll send our thanks to. Could you send our thanks to Vespa Clan? She's right there. Okie dokie. <laughs> She's right there, Ben. Can't you see her? Well, no, but we not. shouldn't disturb disturb her. She's still busy making more honey for mm. everyone. You shouldn't bother anyone while they're at working. Hey. Working. All right, let's go find the farmer. Mm-hmm. Oh, if if you're looking for the farmer, his farm is on the right side from the. 
from where the um, Pokemon Center is. There's like a path over there. Oh, got it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. To the right. <laughs> Damn it. Right over <clears throat> this way. Come on, Miles. I'm lost. He said right of the Pokemon Center. Mm -hmm. So maybe somewhere near the houses. This isn't mm -hmm. a farm. That's a Poke Center. Yep. She More said right then. Right the Pokemon. That's oh, the Pokemon Center. More right. They're not very clear on directions because <laughs> <laughs> they're kids. It's just more right. <laughs> hey, wait! This is a Pokemart. There's no other houses over there. That's, that's Above the Pokemart. Flowers. Um, maybe they're. Maybe it's uh, by that well we were at. Hmm. I suppose yesterday. You could be. Hey, you. Oh, hi. Good morning. Good morning. Do you know where that, 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 that weird farmer guy is? The one with the sun, uh, the flowers, the sun, sunflowers? Uh, you must be talking about the farmer that checks his sunflower patch every day. There should be a path that's like below if you go to the where the meat lab is it's the pink building and then there's another house right next to it once you pass that there should be a path that takes you to his barn or, or mm. his farm yeah i see so, so we gotta that go me back. down that way uh, by the berries we that uh Cameron showed us yesterday. Was it yesterday? I think. <clears throat> yeah, yesterday. Well, what did she say? To the left or to the right of the meat factory? Well, this is the only house though, down here, so I would assume it's this Maybe one. Maybe this house. It's a barn. That doesn't look like a barn. The barn. Well, you guys check out this house, and if not, we can go down this this direction. She points towards the trees on this side. Oh, all right. And Fen knocks on the door. <clears throat> okay, and then um, you knock on the door, and this lady, this young adult lady, steps out and greets you and asks if there's anything that she can help you with because she thinks she sees that uh, you, you guys look kind of lost um <clears throat> uh, does the uh, sunflower farmer live here well not technically he lives at the past the path the grassy path after where the berries are uh okay thank you yeah so if you take thank that you. path she points to her left that's where his farm will be uh so it's outside the city huh yeah of course. you could say that <laughs> What is Miles doing? Where did everyone go? What are you what are you doing? <laughs> where did everyone I looked away? Where did everyone go? Oh, Miles. where are you? I thought you were making it. 
Miles, come on. Maybe he's Mouth too distracted so by what happened with but the sun floor. Miles is traumatized. Yeah. Listen, he had a rough bad. day. He had a rough day so far. He still feels bad. From the sun floor to the beer. Okay, in this next one, I'm gonna need you guys to take out your tokens. Okay. Got it. <laughs> okay. Um, well, let's move, let's move everyone here. Um, and let's shrink here. everyone. Face, face on, face the way that Fen's facing. Okay. Okay. We, we went right and all y'all went in the uh, other entrance. <laughs> no, no, we spawned there. <clears throat> okay. Well, actually, no, yeah, I need to shrink and turn miles a little more. <laughs> there okay so as you um leave the town and enter this area you just see a bunch of yellow grass and there's a windmill and tractor there like your typical farm and so this is definitely the place that <laughs> um the um, the two people we're trying to tell you or we're trying to well, lead you to it certainly looks a lot more like a farmhouse yes let's go talk to this man so we can challenge that Brandon uh, right yep Miles <laughs> what are you you've been out of it today Miles sorry <laughs> are you still thinking of what happened earlier that's fine. Huh? We don't blame me, Miles. And then you see his accidents happen. You see a truck and a barn as you walk past, and then hmm. a house, Someone's assuming that's here. his. <clears throat> and then out in the distance, you see certain Pokemon in inside the the fence. Whoa! And then, oh, that that a, and then you notice that the farmer happens to be there. Is that a dog? Oh. Hey, look! I think that's him. Yeah, and a and a shaggy dog staring. Um, next shaggy him. dog Pokemon. It, excuse me, sir. Oh. Ben uh, deeply waves his hand around. Oh hey! Maybe Hello. He walks over to you four. I, I was meaning to go check the sunflower patches, but I, I also wanted to ask if you were able to figure out what the problem was. Mm -hmm. We solved the mystery. Yep. It was sunflora. Oh, sunflora. Well, that makes more sense, seeing that they are... <laughs> They do look like the sunflowers mm -hmm. in my patches. Yep. Perfect cover up. So, did you had to tell them to leave? What did you end up doing with them? Well, um, they didn't exactly want to leave, but so we had uh, Brandon take them in. Uh, He's gonna take care of them until we find a place for them. Mm -hmm. That's nice of our gym leader. Oh, I hope that those sunflowers oh. won't be such of a problem to him. I hope so too. Well, as promised, I did say that I would reward you for something if you were able to solve the mystery. I was thinking that I can reward one Pokemon <laughs> to you. What? Well, there's two Pokemons that I'm thinking of rewarding to you. But since dog? there's the four of you, 
Is it any monkeys? He, like, this is the first time where his eyes, like, light up the entire day. <laughs> oh, sorry, no, no monkey Pokemon. Young it man. might be a farm. It might be a farm animal. He goes back to being says. depressed. <laughs> how, how are we gonna decide this? Um, Your dog? <laughs> you just see the, the donkey Pokemon just... You just hear some chewing in the back of Miles' pockets. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Way to kick a man down while he's already depressed. You just Jeez. you just see the the donk the little donkey from one having a piece of miles uh, like a gray fabric in his mouth. Uh I think he I got think... part of your jacket. I don't think that's good for for the Pokemon to eat it. Spirit. Spirit. And he, okay. he, he just turns over to Miles' direction, just staring at him, like waiting to eat more of his his clothing. No. <laughs> Stay away. Touch oh, my jacket, alright? It's okay. He's friendly. Purdy, why don't you go over and and take care of Mudbury? And and his dog just goes over and like guards to make sure that the donkeys won't go after Miles. Thanks, Darby. So what are the Pokemons that you have to offer? Well, one of them happens to be one of these goats here and he he goes to one of them and just grabs puts the leash around it and takes it over to yeah. you guys this Pokemon is called a Skidoo it oh, can skidoo. only now it's, it's one of the Pokemons that you can mount on but since it's still small and not in its other evolution form, you can only huh. you can only have one person riding on it. Whoa! But this Pokemon is really good at jumping over high places. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if I'd be able to hold on to it. It takes a while to get used to, but it's a good Pokemon to travel with. Just get it by the horns. Easy for you to say. It shouldn't be too hard to hold the horns. Well, I mean, it can't uh, be that strong. Yeah, I mean, you're already the slowest person amongst us, so <laughs> it should be able to do. Way to rub it in. It's a, it, this it, little it, and something... another Pokemon? It's something I've been yeah, calling with sleep. There, there's one more. I would have to show it to you when we go to the barn. Yeah. Oh, let's okay. go to the barn. Okay. Best well, to look at both of our options before we all decide. That's all right. I'll keep the schedule out here for now, but let's head to the barn. Okay. Alright. Because you won't do it. Um. Cool, like a, like a Out of character. I hope it's not a milk tank. <laughs> it's gonna be a milk tank. It's gonna be a milk tank. Wouldn't you like to know? I don't want it to be a milk tank. <laughs> you didn't you like to know whether it's a milk tank? He doesn't want to. What, what's it's wrong with milk tank? <laughs> it's gonna be a milk tank. She still has <laughs> nightmares. From, she still has nightmares from Whitney. You can be so the hey. Whitney in this game. <laughs> I don't mm. want to be the witness of this. can be with you. Yeah, so he walks past you guys and opens the barn and... Someone does it. Park in the parking space that's... Okay, you gotta make sure that... Okay, our tokens are... So when he opens the barn... Opens the barn. <clears throat> you see that there... Oh, there... <laughs> you see that there's two... Pink cows that are in the in one 
space, and then you also see these two flaming horses in another enclosure. And so he he guides you guys to where the horses are. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. You thought I was going to give you one of my cows, right? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, kind of. I mean, I'll take it. I mean, they do make um, uh, Mooma milk, which uh, makes a lot of money. Ah, I see. I see that you've done your research. Mm, always. <laughs> Anyways, Weird. this. This um, little horse here is called a ponyta, and I was thinking of giving one of you this Pokemon because their mother is not really friendly with with it. I guess she oh. kind of rejected it when it was born. No. And oh. as okay. he's explaining this, you see the little horse just goes over to their mom to to just try to get some affection from her but then you just see the mom using her hind legs kicking the pony away <laughs> and then <laughs> and then it just it just goes on like a, a little rampage and running over to get away from uh. from it uh. So, How could a mother be so mean to their child like that? It happens. I mean, our, our, our parents not, not all not, but... not all parents are accepting to their child. Hey, our parents didn't abandon us. Well, um, mm, I hope not. Exactly. <laughs> it did to me. Yeah. That's why I think it's best for one of you four to take this ponytail. Mm. Mm. Well, I don't think we'd be able to ride this one. <laughs> well, not necessarily. You could ride it. You just, it just needs to gain more trust with the trainer. Now, I know that you're you're nervous about the flames getting your um, yeah burning your clothes <laughs> or even you too but as long as the po ponyta trusts you and knows that you're not going to hurt it then the flames won't actually burn you wow mm. imagine that so just let me know what your thoughts are. Mm. But I'll just mm. be waiting outside until I hear your decisions. Mm. Okay. Thank you, sir. Mm. Okay. Um, hmm. How do we do this? Uh, we need a way to make it fair. Maybe we should let the pony touch choose. Okay, sure. Yeah. Maybe we should let the Pokemon's feelings decide who they want. Even though I, I know the narrator hates that, but... <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do. She, she's like, ah, she's like, not again. <laughs> <laughs> that was exactly my thought. I was like, Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not then. Hmm. Uh hmm. Wait, I know. Uh maybe we should all compare how many Pokemon we've got so far. And the one with the least Pokemon gets the uh <clears throat> other two. I'm pretty sure I'm the one with the least. Okay. You want to give Winter both writing Pokemon? No, 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 no. I mean, uh, whoever has the least amount of Pokemon, uh, well, the two that has the least amount of Pokemon will get one to pick one of each. I'm pretty well, sure that's me, Chloe. 
I mean, I shouldn't the go to, I mean, this thing has clearly been neglected. Shouldn't it go to someone who's the most affectionate? I mean... Wouldn't that be Chloe? What's, who's that? What's that supposed to mean? That Chloe's the most affectionate? <laughs> no, no, but he... But Miles said... Are you, this thing, do you think, I mean, do you think this, one of us I'm aren't just, affectionate? I mean, compared to... I mean... I don't know. I just think there should go with someone who is, you know, gonna mother it. Gonna be a good mom to it. Hey, mom. You... So, me? No, not you. <laughs> oh. are, you are you talking about yourself, Miles? No, I'm talking about Chloe. Chloe already. Yeah, okay, sure. Always the most affectionate one out of all of us. What I just said. <laughs> oh, that's why I had myself muted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't She's know about the. Speak. I don't know about the the pony to. I'm kind of scared of fire types. You have a fire type. Yeah, but it literally blew fire and scared the shit out of me. I managed to catch it, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. You weren't scared when you sent it out to fight giant bees. Okay, oh, so... True. It was gonna be directed away from us, though. Okay, so Chloe has a fire type. Ben has a fire type. Winter ben and I are the only... Fire type. Oh my god, hit she... Winter and I are the only ones who don't, don't have fire types. So, should a pony to go to one of you? I say Miles because he's a bit more affectionate. <clears throat> Chloe suggests. <clears throat> no, I. I got okay, too many. Moms I got too many moms already. So. All right, then Fed. I did. Fed. Winter could take it. All right. Would you like to choose the ponytail, Winter? There's only one. No, I'm saying. Well, it's between the ponytail and the skidoo. Yeah, that's what I meant. Thanks, narrator. <laughs> well, a ponytail would be nice. I think it would suit you, Winter. Really? A fire type would suit me? Well, it's yeah, not gonna it do is, well with uh, me. I'm scared I, of fire. I suppose the name is kind of ironic. Winter, <laughs> fire type. Sure, okay. I'll take the ponytail. Unless Miles wants it. It's fine. You can, you, you can go. Go ahead. I feel he like sounds so disappointed. Miles... <laughs> <laughs> he low key wants it. <laughs> I feel like Miles would low key be a, a horse lover in another life. Believe it. <laughs> nah, he, he he's a bird lover right now. I am leaving. I'm not talking to you guys anymore. He has has two flying, two bug, two water, two grass. I know. No, no three water. I really need my first. But no fire type. Pokemon. Yeah, no fire type. Uh, no I fire need, type. Well, I need diversity, but I have too many Pokemon already. <laughs> Oh, no, you guys can decide. Miles, Miles, uh, we should we we gotta decide on the last Pokemon, Miles. <laughs> Miles, how do we do this? No, you have to go outside to tell the farmer. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, I gave him a shot. You, you, guys, you guys, were just deciding who's gonna get the point to. Okay. Miles, we haven't decided on the skidoo yet. <clears throat> Miles, are you sure you don't want the pony? Am I, am I okay with the skidoo if you guys want me to take it? Chloe says. I just wasn't sure about the pony to. Uh. Yeah, I wouldn't mind you having the skidoo since you have less Pokemon.
Yeah. And sure. Miles? Are you okay <clears throat> with uh, uh, Chloe getting the skidoo? You mean Fen? <laughs> you mean Fen? Oh, you mean, oh, Chloe. I'm, oh, you I'm, mean, I'm, yeah. I, I, I'm yeah. Fen. <laughs> yeah, I'm Fen. <laughs> <laughs> she, she forgot his sibling. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. She can, she can have a skidoo, it's fine. He doesn't sound I, happy about it. Are you sad about no po monkey Pokemon again? It's not that. I, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Well, the farmer <clears throat> turns over to you guys and he asks, So, have, have we come to a decision? I yeah. So. I, I, I think. So who will be taking the skidoo and who will be taking the ponytail? I'll be uh, uh taking the skidoo when it comes up. And okay. I guess I'll be taking the ponytail. <laughs> okay. So he goes ahead and goes and grabs the skidoo. <clears throat> All right. Here you go. Do you have a Pokeball for it, or do I need to provide one? No, I don't have a Pokeball for it. Alright. I'm gonna to grab the Ponyta. Too. Alright. Okay. Probably just looks at the Skidoo. Wow. The skidoo, looks like yeah, the skidoo looks at you with a happy face and he's, he's wagging his tail. Aww, that's cute. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It seems it likes you already. Yeah. Okay. She puts her hand out to pat it on its head. Good goat. <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, you could just use the Pokemon and tap it on his head, too. Alright, get it. You don't, need, out... you don't need to roll anything. Alright, she takes out the Pokeball and taps it on its head. I get a lesson one of the Pokeballs I got. Hmm. Okay. Place the Pokeball on his head and is in the Pokeball now. And the farmer comes back out with the ponyta. Why does roll twenty feel so laggy right now? Uh, <laughs> don't know. It's so laggy for me. Feels a little somewhat okay. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe you got a lot of tabs going on. 
I don't know. Maybe there's too much, too many tokens on the screen too. Yes, I do. Oh, oof. All right, here you go. Hello. You ready, Winter? Yeah. Ready as I'll ever be. Uh, she grabs her Pokeball out of the bag and then lightly taps on on, on, on its head, on its nose, okay. a little boop. Okay, it goes in the Pokeballs and it's yours now. Ooh. I guess that means the ponytail likes you too. <clears throat> Hopefully. 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 <laughs> Okay. Well, I'm assuming that you may be challenging the gym leader either today or one of these days, right? <laughs> it's a good yeah. thing that one of you got a fire type since his gym is a grass type gym. So a fire type will be really good against Guess them. Yeah. That is true. Yeah, that is oh. very true. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. as another reward, I'm here's some moo moo milk on the house. He <laughs> he has like a like six jars. Oh, that wow. he's holding. Of which... Now, this was um, was freshly squeezed this morning from my two milk tanks, and it's very nutritious to humans and Pokemon. <laughs> but you should, it will go bad in, I would say, three days if you don't keep it cold. So All right. Just keep in mind. Of that. Okay, I can do that. Sure thing. Was right. it one jar for each of us? Well, there's six of them. <laughs> so you Three guys jars. can distribute however you want. Uh, I could take one since I took a Pokemon. Yeah, I'll take one. Alright, that means the others get two. Okay. <laughs> okay, so so Malice got two, and Fen got two, and Winter and Chloe got one. Hmm, milk. Yep, milk. Anywho, I should go back to All right, now to the battle to tend my farm. But best of luck to f the four of you on your gym battle. Mm. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. And don't be a stranger here. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, you tougher my jacket. Yeah. You just flares with the mud bray. <laughs> <laughs> the mud bray just grins at Miles. <laughs> just, Miles would stick his tongue out of the mud bray. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, yeah. are we ready to do this thing? Did you, ever, did you ever name your Fennekin, my uh, fan? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I came up with one this morning. Is it Fan? Oh, what is it? Is it Fan Junior? Well, uh, no, I, I looked, uh, I was kind of inspired by all the scenery here, and I decided to name the Fennekin Auburn. Oh, Why? Cool. Well, because of all the reds and browns in this town. Oh, okay. Okay, so you head back to the town.
And give me one minute. I'm going to use the bathroom. So pause. Okay. okay.